Pay attention, I hope that you listen Cause I let my guard down Right now I'm completely defenseless For your eyes only What's up y'all? You already know this your money guy Cody um, This week's topic is Rise from Ryan Now I I never heard of um, this movement or Ryan um, before we were assigned this topic um, but I watched his video I did my research and my first um, like my first thing that I thought about as I was watching this video and you know hearing about his situation I was like wow this dude is strong like the stuff that he went through I would never you know I never I never know how, like how it feel to go through that you know fortunately for me no I had an accepted family and for him to have to go through that with his birth family um, just trying to express who he is and end up being abused for that like that's that's crazy I, well, let me back up um, if y'all didn't watch Chase's video or um, the video before his from Ryan Rise from Ryan is basically a movement started by a boy that was um abused by his by his mother for being transgender so this topic is a bit focused on Ryan um, trans abuse and one thing that I got from him and his story alone is just empowerment like I I mean he's only 16 you know what I'm saying I mean I'm only 19 but he's younger than me he came out in the 8th grade I came out in the 12th grade you know what I mean like that's that's extremely inspiring I like the fact that he's he's out there he's open he's confident he's been through some things but he's still striving to be true to himself and to help others you know what I mean like I, I just think like I commend him for that like I got a tremendous amount of respect for this dude um, I think that his courage is amazing um, and you know it just empowers me to want to do better and stay strong for the community as well you know so many people don't have that strength or that courage to be strong and be open the way he is or you know and also to go through that with your family at that and still be out there you know proud of your identity I just think it's amazing um but yeah that's how he empowered me I think he has the the um potential and can empower many other young you know young people especially people of color since his family um don't remember what type but the type of it was a type of asian you know we always get a lot from our own community a lot of the time you know because we're not supposed to be that way or it's a white thing or stuff like that that's the kind of things i've heard and you know for people of these different races to start being able to embrace themselves like my focus on the african-american community um i just think it's great and he's so young he can empower so many people <clears throat> to be open um so definitely a big supporter of Ryan. Um, if you're watching this video, man, I think you're amazing. But um, as far as abuse goes, um, I've never been abused before. Um, I know people that have been abused, I think. Um, but I've never been abused. Um, but of course, if you're going through those things, abuse is not always physical. In Ryan's case... It was physical, probably mental and emotional, going through all those things, you know. But some people may not have the physical, but they get the, you know, the the wrong pronouns from their parents and the rejection, and that that's mental abuse, emotional abuse. There, you know, I think it all plays a part, and it's important to have support around you. If you don't have people that you know you can't afford counseling, call a hotline. Search LGBT hotline on Google or I mean if you need an ear somebody to talk to you can hit me up like I'm always willing to be there for anybody I don't care who like who you are I don't care what you identify as I don't care how old you are I've talked to people that were like 30 that just needed an ear I've talked to people that were about 12 years old that just needed an ear it doesn't matter like I'm not a counselor of course I can't you know I can't do much but if you really just want to get something off your chest I'd always be open to talking to you and listening to you and hopefully some way um, making you feel better and giving you some insight. But I think it's important that we all seek out some type of help or have somebody to express ourselves to 
um, when we go through these types of things, you know, of course, if the abuse gets really bad, especially physically, you should call 911. Don't call me because I'm not going to know what to do. But um, I think support, support is definitely um, very important. I think that, I mean, when it comes to abuse, especially for being abused, for being you, you know, I think that's something that would really have a mental and emotional effect on someone because you know you just want to be you you want to embrace yourself and you're considered uh you know some type of abomination or you know society instantly rejects you without even knowing you or your story or anything you know i think it's it's crazy you know i think that's very degrading it can hurt your your confidence it can hurt your sense of self it can make you want to get into a closet not be true to yourself or be in denial about yourself try to change who you are like <clears throat> that's why i think that ryan's story and what he's been through and from his video he's still going through being in the foster system um and going through things with his family but he's still open about it he's still from what i can see from the video very confident and courageous about you know his identity and what he's going through in his struggle i like that he's using it to try to empower others because that's that's what i want to do with my story you know we all have our different stories and you know depending on the person you can make a, a huge difference and i think that he has the, the strength and, and the right message to do that um but that's pretty much it on this topic um once again ryan i think you're amazing if you are suffering like some type of emotional thing from people not accepting you or something like that, y'all can hit me up or, you know, Google a hotline. Make sure you have that support for you. Um, you know, if it's really bad, of course, call 911. Um, but I think one thing we can learn is to just be yourself and embrace that. I mean, you only got one life. Um, live it to the fullest and celebrate yourself. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is my day, Coley, and I'm signing out. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Um, show my boy Ryan some love. Um, go watch Jason's video. Come back for everybody else's video for the rest of the week about uh, Rise for Ryan. And, um, stay tuned for next week. Appreciate it.